At the last audit, the IRS told me I was full of crap. Do I want? You're so full of it. You don't need those things. Wait. And I was like, yeah, well, two hours ago, I had a big lunch, okay? Who said that? Oh, Stewie. You are just horrible. So I'm probably more full of crap than usual. I mean, excuse me. If that bothers you, you could just come back later. I just don't have, I don't have the keys. So maybe you could come back later? Get out of the way. I'm sure the crap will have passed through by then, resulting in me being less full of it. Then I will be a beautiful butterfly, and then everything will be better. Honestly, can you believe this? The iris yelling at you for having a big lunch? I mean, that that's fat shaming, man. In any case, Principal Shepard needs to be held accountable for fat shaming my son, no matter how fat or shameful he may be. And I'm not even really that fat, to be honest. So like a few years ago, I wouldn't have even thought to take offense to the iris's cruel fat shaming comment. If your son had been shot, all I could offer is thoughts and prayers, but this calls for a far stronger response. But recently, I've learned that I sometimes feel fat. Come on, fat ass. No more fat shaming cap. Let's start a new chapter. And that's like the same thing as being fat, man. So I'm totally justified, obligated even, to take offense to the IRS's cruel fat shaming comments. There's still the agenda item of you fat shaming Chris Griffin. I think we can table that. As long as it's a pretty strong table. <laughs> Silence is violence, dang it. You gotta speak out when abuse like this is happening. And like, you're fat, IRS. You're, you're the fat one. And that's not fat shaming because like, they totally did it first. That's how it works. They started it. Look, those guys were rude, arrogant, narrow-minded, class A jerks. 